right. Matt here from Face Kick Flicks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do an untethered jailbreak on an iPhone 4S with iOS 6.1 installed. Now you can do this on all iPhone models, iPod Touch, iPads, and iPad Minis running iOS 6 through 6.1. And this is an untethered jailbreak. If you don't know what that is, you don't need your phone plugged into the computer to boot it once this is jailbroken. So first off, you're going to want to go check the links in my description and go and download the Evasion tool um, from the Evasion website. I'll provide the links in the description. Once you download the right copy, they have Linux, Mac, OS X, and Windows. I'm using a Mac, and this one is actually OS X Mountain Lion. So just click the download, and then it'll say click here to download your attachment. Okay, I already have that downloaded, so I'm just going to go over and open that. Okay, once that opens up, you can open up the evasion tool and just click open if it comes up with this error here or this warning now it says right here connect your iPhone iPod touch or iPad to begin so I'm gonna plug that in okay and now it just says iPhone 4s with iOS 6.1 is supported jailbreak to begin And also, it, there is a note there saying to please back up your device with iTunes. Um, I already did that, so I'm not going to go through that. If you have any questions on how to do that, basically just plug it into your computer and open iTunes and click back up. And now when it says waiting to reboot, do not touch the device. Um... You can hold on to it if you want, but don't touch the screens or any buttons on it. You might have problems. But if you do have problems, you can just rerun this again. I'm just going to set this down here. Still, once again, do not touch the device while it's doing this. And this actually does not take very long. Um, this is the second time I've done this, so I know it does work. And I restored it in iTunes to the original factory on jailbroken settings. And this is the second time I'm doing it now. Now it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. Only tap it once. And then the screen will go black. So there it is, as you can see. You can see that it says jailbreak. You click that. Screen went black like it said, and now it's injecting the remount payload. Now it says preparing final jailbreak data, injecting final jailbreak data. It's just about done. Now it says jailbreak complete. The device may restart a few times as it completes the process. So I'm just going to click exit here because it's done. Alright, exit that. And wait for it to reboot. Now 
And once again, I'm not going to touch this at all. I'm going to leave it do what it needs to do. But I did say if you do have any problems with this, uh, basically all you need to do is hold the home and the power button until your device shuts off and then restart it. Now, once I did this the first time, it froze up during this stage here. And I just did that and rebooted it. And I had to reboot it two times before it actually restarted. But that might be because I actually did touch a button when it said not to. So don't recommend touching a button. <laughs> Now on the screen it does say done continuing boot the phone just vibrated and then I notice the screen is a little dark oh, there we go so I'm gonna slide this unlock it and there's Cydia I'll open up Cydia now it's gonna do this the first time you open up Cydia so once this is done it's gonna it should be rebooting after this I'm just gonna set it down. All in all, I think this pretty much took about five minutes to do very simple I've never done a jailbreak this easy in my life and I've jailbroken quite a few iPhones so I thank the guys over at Evader's website and I'm just gonna open this up again take a look here there's Cydia I'm gonna select user I'm not gonna do a developer or hacker I just want to do user standard set of features on here for the apps that you would a normal user will be using. There we go. Welcome to Cydia. Let's see what we got under the featured section. If you do have problems with this, this is a day, February 4th, where this jailbreak just came out, and there is actually a note. Um, that will show up here pretty soon saying that Cydia servers are being hit pretty hard because of all the new jailbreaks so just bear with it and we are jailbroken on iOS iOS 6.1 thanks guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates on this yeah, have a good one